Welcome back to the Leonard Brother Games. I'm David, and we're still playing a little bit of Animal Crossing. John's going up to get some rest because he's still sick, and you know I'm still sick. <coughs> mm, excuse me. What? Okie dokie. It's your thing. Anyways. Um, I don't know if I want to play that. Anyways, uh, there was these games, you know, you can unlock Super Mario Brothers, Original Legend of Zelda, um, Balloon Fight was a normal one. That was that came with it. Uh, Ice Climber was also a normal one. Uh, Punch Out also. Normal. I think there were two other games. Soccer was normal. And tennis. Was oh, oh, don't don't put it up. Put it back. Put it back. Drop on the table. Thank you very much. Anyways, as you can tell, the background was an unlocked uh, design for the original, you know, <coughs> Super Mario Brothers style and you can also rotate stuff around i think that's literally all the stuff that you could get uh unlocked at once the later games have unlocked uh more features and more power-ups and more things but none of them have the nes games like this one does so that's why i stick to this one even though wild world and the 3ds one have all kinds of new player features and unlocks and character you know costumes and stuff um they don't have the kind of uh, the gameplay, the extra features that this one does in terms of NES emulation. Oh yeah, I forgot to go upstairs and downstairs. Let's go up there. Um, I'd also received a set of Animal Crossing posters from Nintendo. I don't have any music. Oh, okay. Anyways, uh, the posters were um, of uh, at least for Wild World, the most not. New Leaf. New Leaf is the most recent version of the 3DS. And one of the posters had uh, supposedly every character that has ever been, every one of the anthropomorphic creatures uh, that has ever been in the game series, and their names. The problem was, apparently, some of the names were wrong. And so Nintendo is sending out a new, new poster with corrected names for all the people who were somehow uh, uh, miffed at the fact that they got the wrong names on their poster and, and i look at it as like i don't know who these people are in the first place let alone whether they had the right names or not they all you know every variation of character characters and oh these are all the gyros down here so there's a lot of things you can do in this game that in the end kind of kind of feel pointless you can like collect all these gyros who you can turn on almost all at once and they make all kinds of different weird noises and stuff you can get little models of your house. You got a bug catching net, uh, Nintendo parasol, so that all kinds of different uh, add-ons and accessories and stuff. This game was actually re-released in Japan as Animal Crossing Plus, because I said in, in the previous one it was I don't, Animal Forest. I remember correctly, Animal Forest was the original version of the game on the N64. Uh, pretty much looked the same as this, except this was re-released on GameCube in Japan to add the e-reader features and the updated graphics and the updated uh, environment and so on and all this other stuff. And so as you can tell, I, I went through and painstakingly, one of the last things I did was to bury everything I could everywhere so that no matter when I came back or left or whatever happened or how many you know months it's been since I played the game, there will be no weeds to to pull up because that is by far one of the most annoying things. So, anyways, here's the uh, the main one of the main guys is Owl, and he has a complete collection of different things you can pick up. You can pick up dinosaur bones, uh, plants, uh, little like fish. You can and there's this is the butterfly uh, area. You can pick up crickets grasshopper and it tells all the different creatures you've collected with your bug catching net and so one of them is obviously in a chrysalis there it's going to become a butterfly but in the meantime they got all these other <clears throat> bugs and spiders and flies and all kinds of things there and then there's this area where there's the all the fish you can catch electric eels and I forget whether you get like a bigger more Imposing. I don't think the biggest thing I think is like gonna be like a bunch of guppies and some other you know smaller fish 
but generally I think I've got all of those collected. Uh, that's kind of the issue. It's like once you've done everything you can do, there's really no point to playing the game any further. And so you just kind of, man, it just kind of sits by the wayside. And so you got these various dinosaur bones. And so it's kind of nice. They got these other. I think I forget which one, uh, the Stegosaurus, or no, the Triceratops. One of the bunch had recently been disproven. Like what we thought was a Triceratops all along with some other creature, and there was really no Triceratops. So like a lot of people look at the uh, the first Jurassic Park film, and are thoroughly disappointed because the uh, the creature that they is supposed to like love and adored uh, wasn't real. After so long, they're like, you know what, this this dinosaur has been misidentified, and it's actually this one. We haven't really found any bones of what we thought was that dinosaur. So, it, it's not as bad as, you know, disproving, you know, or saying that, that Pluto is no longer a planet. That That's, you know, it's just science changing its mind again in that regard. And this, is, this is the section where you uh, make a special design, stuff like that, is if, you're, if you like uh, unique... Uh, shirts and character design stuff like that and so you go here to the uh abel sisters yeah mabel and uh down in this section if you have a game boy advance hooked up you get uh captain captain the 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 uh uh sea turtle you know he floats up on his boat and you're able to connect to get mini games that show up on the game boy advance but i uh just sold i guess or, or traded and did something to my game boy advance years ago that i, I no longer have it and so if it, even if i did i don't have the link cable i have no idea where that went either so i probably like traded it in and just got tired of it and so now those features i can't really show to you but there are plenty of other videos on youtube about this game and about the other features of these games in general let's see how long it's been since i've talked to lucky because he doesn't look so lucky does he uh code man yeah that's the name Oh, did I not even meet this person before? Oh, yeah, they said I never met him. Okay. Take this videotape of Boris's house. It's just like... Thing after thing of... 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 Junk. And... And, and pointless rigmarole. Uh, of going through. And, and like, people... Ate this game up. And... People are still eating the series up in general. And it kind of makes me wonder why. Because it's not really much of a game. Honestly, you look at it and it's just like, well, what's the point? This is the wishing well area. And so you can also ask, I apologize. You do not fear any items you must apologize for. You have items you need to deliver. Do not cast them aside so quickly. So it's like if, you, for, if you neglected to do a mission and somebody's angry with you, you can use the wishing well to apologize for it. And well, let's just talk. Great timing. I got money burning a hole in my pocket. I'd like to buy your balloon fight for 3000 but no, no. Yeah, that makes me so happy. Why did I sell my balloon fight? Oh, dear. Did I have it on hand? I guess I did. I had a copy of balloon fight on my hand. Because it's actually it's still there. Okay. That's kind of weird. I, I should have sold it, but I got like another 3000 bells, and yet I still have the balloon fight in my inventory. I don't know. It's probably one of the bugs of uh, having cheated. Because it's just like a, it's just permanently there. The way that they um, uh, add those games that you're uh, they're in the code, but you have no other way of unlocking, is that they replace items in your inventory with those things. And so even though I don't have the, uh, the cheat on eighty seven months, goodness, a job. I just had something for you, but this is taken care of. And so you just travel. Each world is also uh, randomly generated too. So when you first turn on the game. Um, it randomly puts the, uh, the characters, which characters, uh, typically the, um, this is, here's Tom Nook's shop, but typically the, uh, the train station is on the top middle square, you know, of, of the main map, and, um, but everything else is just all around, and this is where you, um, Tom Nook is based on a Tanuki, Tanuki, yeah, so, um, he's got... This nice big suit on because he's all fancy likes and so you know once you upgraded his place uh he's got all kinds of furniture and things you can buy and add-ons and accessories and it changes every day you come in you can get a, a satellite there for some reason 
or the you know, other N64 logo, and I've got like tons of bells and tons of supplies, and so it kind of the game kind of gets uh, dull and repetitive. And they also have the the, the internal clock as well. So as, as time passes, as you're playing the game in real life, it plays the game your time clock. So if you're playing it past nine, past ten o'clock, past ten p.m., the store will be closed. And of course, there are also certain other events too. So if you play on New Year's Eve and you play through midnight, you get um, uh, a series of fireworks. And so like Happy New Year, blah blah blah, you know. And of course, if you also consider like the Chinese New Year, uh, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, whatever, all these different you know holidays you set it to those particular days and you can uh you get certain actions and certain reactions so like that there's also certain days built into the game that are um also one thing if you notice there if there's no space for something to land on those things don't appear anywhere so those fruit they needed to land on the ground but since the ground was already taken up by all of these bur buried stuff uh there there was no place for it to go so it just disappears and so for that reason, you can actually go into other people's houses sometimes. I'm not in right now, but if they're, like, you know, inside, you can just walk right into some places and you can see. Oh, here we go. Somebody's in here. Like, hey, how you doing? Got a little TV. You can turn that off. Um, there's also been all kinds of Easter eggs and other secrets I've seen in the games and the later versions of the game on the TV. Um... There's an Easter egg with, um, if you look at, I think it's like Sundays at like 3 in the morning if you're playing the game, uh, or you just set the clock to that point. Um, there's like some sort of alien spaceship appears on the screen, and then the alien, you know, like the, the screen flashes and the alien shows up and starts saying a whole bunch of weird stuff and stuff you don't really understand, and it gives your character to the frights, the shippers, you know, but then nothing else happens. So that's, that's kind of weird. And there's also different fruit. And you can see, like, there's apple trees and and all kinds of other different, you know, fruits and vegetables. So that you can actually grow and build, like, a little garden of different fruit and stuff like that. But otherwise, there's really not much else to the game. It's, um... Once, you, once you've unlocked everything you possibly can, like most other games, it's just kind of sits around collecting dust sometimes i go back to it mostly just for the nes games because it's an easy legal way for me to play all of these uh the great nes games i've got in here and um yeah I mean, it's a lot of fun you can tell there's like tons and tons of stuff you, you wouldn't really be able to get otherwise and if uh, another animal crossing games actually included some some content like this i would i would keep playing them Otherwise, uh, it's kind of a kind of a disappointment. Anyways, until next time, happy gaming.